Hey, what's going on, everybody? So unfortunately, we have some injury news and injury update. You know, it always stinks to have to cover some of these injuries, especially for guys, you know, who are probably some of the best players on the roster. So it came out yesterday in an interview, a couple of different interviews with the Packers, um, asking Matt LaFleur about Zadarius Smith. First, he, goes, he comes on to say, I'm not quite sure when we'll get Z back. He's injured right now. I know he wants to be out there, but we're going to be smart with him. He's obviously a big time player for us. And yeah, it definitely is a concern. Then a reporter came in after he said that question and said, you know, Matt, is it possible that Zadarius Smith misses week one of the NFL season versus the New Orleans Saints? Matt LaFleur comes in and says, yes, he could potentially miss that week one game. So it's not necessarily, um, you know, definite that he's going to miss this week one game, but apparently in practice last week after being released from the non-football injury list, um, he sort of had a, his back injury flare up according to Brian Gutekunst. This is a back injury that he came into training camp with. Um, he started off training camp on the non-football injury list, missed the first couple weeks of, this, uh, of, of training camp um, for the Packers. And it was last week that he, he did get taken off of that list. But apparently in practice, it flared up this back injury that he has. So it's sort of like a day-to-day -day situation now with Darius Smith and this injury. He still could potentially play in week one. Um, here's a quote from Gutekunz on the situation as well. He said, obviously, he's working through something right now. And I'm hopeful that that's not the case as far as missing game one. But he's dealing with his little day-to-day -day injury. So, of course, Darius Smith is probably one of the best players on this Packers defense. 2019, 13.5 sacks for the Packers. 2020, 12.5 sacks for the Packers. So, obviously, if he misses one game, the Packers are definitely going to miss his presence there at the outside linebacker position. But at the same time, we do have a guy in Rashawn Gary who is still, you know, sort of the third, um, you know, outside linebacker of this group who last year took such a massive step forward. He went from three sacks in 2019 to seven sacks in 2020, from 15 pressures in 2019 to 39 pressures in 2020, which is actually 13 better than Preston Smith last season. So even if he does miss the game, I think the Packers have some solid depth there in a guy in Rashawn Gary who, you know, is going to continue, I think, to take steps forward coming into his third season on this Packers defense. Plus, you have a guy in Preston Smith who did struggle a little bit last year, but apparently, you know, sort of seems to me at least like he's going to take another step forward and sort of go back to his 2019 self in 2020. So obviously, as Packers fans, we don't want to see Zadarius Smith miss the first week of the season, um, but luckily we do have some depth, you know, there at the outside linebacker position. So hopefully he's able to heal up because I think we still have a couple weeks until the actual, you know, NFL season starts when we face off against the New Orleans Saints in New Orleans. I think it's September 12th the game is. So he still has some time to heal. He could be ready for week one, but just, you know, a little heads up, he could potentially miss week one, according to Matt LaFleur. But we'll have to wait and see what actually goes down with this injury. If you guys haven't subscribed, you like Packers content, Packers news, Packers breakdowns, that's what I put out on this channel every single day. So make sure you guys subscribe to the channel down below. But thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next video.